Internet here for Car Theory TV. And for this edition of Strategy, we're going to talk about blocker bets. We sat down with JC Alvarado to explain exactly what a blocker bet is. Um, okay, so a blocker bet is when you're you see a river and you have a decent hand. Say say you have like ace jack, and you bet the an ace high flop, and the guy calls, and then the turn is kind of ugly. And you bet again, and the guy calls, and then the river is a little bit uglier. And now you're not sure you have the best hand, but you could easily have the best hand. Like if someone has like an ace with a lower kicker or something, then you might want to bet like um, something like a little bit less than half pot or half pot or something like that, and um, and try to get them just to call rather than like bet big, you know. And um, you're trying to what you're trying to do is. Because if you check the river and they bluff, they're gonna bluff big, and if they value bet, they they they're gonna be bet big. So you're not trying to check call a big bet. You're trying um, to control what exactly, you have to bet in the river. Exactly. So by um, by betting like half pot or something, you're kind of hoping that some better hands might just call you rather than check call, and then end up check calling for like a big bet. So that's pretty much it. You're it's actually uh, a very good. Uh, name for it because it is a blocker bet. You're blocking him from betting more and getting more value. Okay. We also asked JC if he ever identifies a bet as a blocker bet if he raises it as a bluff. He gave us an example from day one of the LAPC. Well here's a perfect example. The hand I, I said earlier that I where I, the very first hand I played where I lost most of my chips or like 5,000 in chips. Um, a guy raised, I called with ace 10, the flop came ace uh, 5, 7. Um, he bet I called, and it had two hearts. He bet I called. The turn was a uh, a brick. That I think it filled the straight. Um, he bet again. He bet small, like 650. I called, and then the river came a king and put the heart. Um, and I had an ace of hearts, and he bet 1,000 into like 2,400, and that is a blocker bet. That's a bet that. I would assume is ace queen or ace jack almost every time, and I just really thought it was ace king or ace or ace queen or ace jack. So what I did was I raised it big. I made it 4800 or 4600, and um, he ended up calling with ace queen. So my read was right, and you know his read turned out to be right. So, uh, but that's what it was like uh, against a good player. I'm I'm a little bit uh, more reluctant to, to make the raise there because they might be trying to induce that right. by faking a block bet, you know? But um, this guy, you could tell he wasn't, you know, like a, a pro probably. Um, and he made he made exactly a block bet. And I just tried to take advantage and turn my ace into a bluff and it didn't work out. But, um, you know, that's kind of uh, what I do whenever I sense someone might bet fold something. I uh, try, to, try to bluff them off a bit. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Strategy. I'm Christiana Fork.